In this video, I will go through the finance tracker and budget planner I created and use inside of my Notion workspace. The link to this money manager template is in the description below. This finance tracker is split into two parts, income and expenses. At the top of the income tracker, you can set your monthly goal you want to achieve. And with expenses, you can set a monthly limit of how much you want to spend. Once a month is complete, you can simply just drag the finance tracker into your archive and then click on the template button to add a new month. If you make changes to your finance tracker, just make sure to also change it inside of the template button. The table itself is fairly straightforward. You have a column to enter the name, the date, you can categorize your income source and expenses, and you can also select the bank account you used for the transaction. Then you have the amount of money you received or spent as well as a currency converter which might be useful if your native currency is different than the currency you receive payments in or used to buy online. To change the currency converter, simply just click on edit formula and you will see that the amount column is being divided by zero. I'm going to use my native currency which is the South African Rand as an example. So for every dollar it's worth about 14 Rand. So I would just replace the zero with 14. And you just apply this method to whatever currency you're using. That's all there really is to it. Nothing too fancy and complicated which is the point. Tracking your finances should be quick and easy without any effort otherwise it will just become a tedious task that only feels like more work. To get access to this template simply just click the link in the description and then duplicate the template to your Notion workspace. You might also be interested in my subscription tracker which tracks monthly and yearly subscriptions that pairs really well with this finance tracker. You can find the video to that in the description and in the card above. With that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.